the front leaf springs or for this control arm setup. Oh man, I really do hate this stick. Okay, need more room. So this lower control arm setup that they got in this thing, I'm not super happy with. What I'll probably do is put the leaf springs in it, original leaf springs, but have them inboard like this. I'll probably replate it in here like it's supposed to be, put the leaf springs in. Uh, maybe I'll fish plate the outside, but I'll put the leaf springs in it using this hanger probably. Run the leaf spring back, maybe make use the rear shackle that's back there. The rear hanger that's back there, I don't know if you guys can see it under there. Yeah, that rear hanger. Run the springs, cut these off, put pads on it, set it up, get the pinion angle where I want it. Run the old school traction ladder bar slapper things. And uh, then I can knock all this stuff out up here and then I can continue to run my exhaust in here like I want to because this pan hard bar and all that stuff is... It's not the way I would have built it. It's too, it's too hokey for me. It's got to come out. I'd rather go back to more original with leaf springs and then deal with like that kind of street stuff than this. You know, it's kind of cobbled. I don't really like it. I don't know what that second bar is for. I don't know why they cut it off. I don't know if they had like the wrong shocks or what, but you can see they hacked some of that on. And I just, I mean, the welds are great. They're really awesome. I'm not real happy with it. And this thing, I mean, I'm not using that. That is not going to happen. I say that now, but what might happen is I get it running, get a drive line in it, and I get it to somewhat run and drive down the road. And then I collect all the parts and do like a full on fix at the back. I'll probably just run the mufflers to like right here. I want to go up and over and out, but I'll probably just go right to here and just end them. So at least it has mufflers on it when I fire it up. Because I don't want to fire that motor up open header. I mean, I might fire it up for the very first time open header, but I don't want to run it at any extended period of time without mufflers. A, because I'm just not really into super, super loud stuff. And B, well, for the reason is I like to hear it. I want to hear, you know, if there's a problem with the motor, I want to be able to hear it. I don't want to just hear a loud exhaust. I want to hear like, you know, knocking or pinging or tapping or whatever. And sometimes you can't with open headers. So I want to hear that and B, I like my neighbors. And I like to go surfing. You guys know that. So I'm going to strap the board to this car and take it surfing. I don't want to fire it up at 530 in the morning with open headers. I would not have any happy neighbors at all. In fact, not even a half, my wife would not be happy. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to be it. Uh, I need to clean up this mess back here. Probably put the new tail light housing pieces and the bumper ends on the rear bumper and hang it up and get that out of my way so I can get that cleaned up here and then, uh, you know, put the axles and stuff back in this differential and hook up hydraulic clutch lines master cylinders run brake lines there's a lot to do a lot to do and you guys are going to watch every second of it of my agony this entire process you'll get to watch it i'm sorry i'm sorry in advance it'll be lots of really long lame slow videos of me bending tube and you know maybe cussing a little bit because it'll be frustrating <laughs> see you later